Hi friends, I'm happy to see you again and today we're gonna make a pasta recipe because here in Toronto summer is almost over and the autumn days are coming so I wanted to make a mix between something nice for summer but also something cozy for the rainy and cold days so I hope you like this recipe. Hi! <laughs> well, we need an onion for this recipe so I got a really big onion as you can see, this is just half so for the recipe we actually need half an onion but I'm gonna cook it all and then you can use the extra onion for during the week because we're gonna caramelize the onion so it's really nice with eggs or if you put it on top of rice, anything so here we have our onion I like my big knife and we are gonna slice it And then when you have this, it's gonna take you like five minutes, but you're gonna take some pieces and then you're gonna cut them so we can have little squares and everything is even. So I'm gonna finish this and I'll see you a little later. Now here I have some pea meal bacon. I really like this one. I don't know if this is Canadian, like traditionally Canadian, but I really like it. We used to use it at school and I really love it. So I'm gonna use this one, but you can actually use any type of ham that you like. Also sausage or anything. This is like the flavor of the pasta, so you can use anything you prefer. We're gonna slice it. One slices and then we're gonna cut it in little squares just look like this and I'm gonna put it inside a dish and we're gonna leave it inside the fridge while we cook everything else here I have my pan and we're gonna use one tablespoon of olive oil and look now that I live alone I get everything smaller so look this is so beautiful it's the size of my hand so here we're gonna add the tablespoon of oil and then we're gonna add the onions let it get a little hot and then we add the onions so now we're gonna cook the onion until it looks brown I'm gonna cook it at medium temperature not too high because we don't want to burn it we just want it brown I don't know if you can hear but the onion is still cooking so in the meanwhile here I have a wine because we are gonna use 80 milliliters of the wine to make the recipe nicer because that's one of the best tips I learned during my studies is that if you want to make something fancier you need to add wine, cream, cheese or butter and we're adding butter too to the recipe so it's gonna be nice and that's the point of this recipe to make something easy but also very nice so this is more like a comfort food that is also healthy so let's go to the recipe and as I was saying this is a pasta with a white sauce so I'm gonna use a white wine I got this one to try it for the week you can use any kind of white wine but we're gonna use this one today remember we need only 80 milliliters but that's also a good tip like with my friends the other day that's what we did we got a wine to try it but we didn't finish it so we're planning to get together today to make some meat with wine sauce that's the point you can use your wine with different stuff as you can see the onions are changing color a little bit after one or two minutes and we're gonna move them a little bit so they don't burn but they need to cook longer as you can see it's getting there it's getting a nice brown color you need to keep moving it a little bit not all the time but like leave it one minute and then move it again until it's pretty and brown it's gonna take around five or six minutes you can see now it's really brown and pretty and i'm gonna add now one tablespoon of butter I like this one because it's already seasoned, but you can use regular butter if you want. I like to do it like this, so the oil cooks evenly. The onion, because if you start with the butter, it usually burns if you do it long. Like this, that needs to be 5 to 6 minutes. So now, when it's almost ready, we're gonna add the butter. 
here it is we're gonna move it around and we're gonna cook it around one to two more minutes now this is the color we wanted if you want you can leave it like one or two more minutes but for me it's fine it was here around three minutes so it's looking perfect now we're gonna take it out and let it rest here in the same pan I added a little bit more butter and now we're gonna cook the pimil bacon this is the same step if you're using sausage, ham, anything you like even prosciutto would be nice if you like it super fancy but we're just gonna cook it as you see the color is changing but I like it more dark at this point we can use a little bit of salt and if you want black pepper too just a tiny bit by the way for salt there's different kind of salts but I like this one it's a pink Himalayan one I feel if you actually pay attention every salt has a different flavor so that's the one I like see this is what I like crispy okay this looks perfect so I'm gonna put it in a dish and reserve it and now we're gonna make the sauce now I'm going to make the pasta this is the pasta I'm gonna use but you can use any you like and we're gonna add some salt to the water it's not an exact measure but I would say like a teaspoon and making a small amount because I live alone and I like fresh pasta so whenever I make this pasta it's usually just for the day but if you want it to last longer or you want it for several people then you can make it per two or per three but the same same ingredients just a bigger quantity now that it's boiling I'm gonna add my pasta I'm gonna let it boil until it's ready al dente our pasta is ready now we're gonna take it out of the water and we can make the sauce my pasta I'm gonna cover it so it doesn't get like weird and this is my flour it's the same size of my hand I told you because I live alone I need small stuff and because we just need one tablespoon it's exactly 20 grams what we need for the recipe but it's like it's the size of my hand and it's one kilogram it's a little hard to film with one hand but this is 20 grams of butter that melted super fast because the pot was kind of hot and here we have 20 grams of flour and we are gonna make a roux a roux it's like a little piece of dough like this that is gonna help our sauce to get thick and I'm cooking it very low so it doesn't burn here I have the roux as you see it's all integrated some people like to cook it more so the flavor is more deep but I like it like this so this is good enough and we're gonna add our milk little by little and we're gonna start integrating it we don't want bumps in the milk so you need to be very careful in this part little by little also be mindful about the edges we don't want it to burn so be careful to mix everything everything perfect little by little it's gonna look more like a sauce as you can see right now it looks like mashed potatoes but with all the milk we're gonna get a nice sauce it's getting very thick now I added all the milk I, I'm gonna finish cooking it this is the consistency we want looks so perfect this is a bechamel it's a white sauce and now we can add our spices looks like it has a little bit of things because I told you my butter have already spices but we're gonna use a teaspoon of white pepper we're gonna use a little bit of bay leaves I really love bay leaves we're gonna use like two and salt so right now I turn the heat off because if you keep cooking it it's gonna get thicker so here maybe another one because that one was small white pepper 
and we're gonna add the onions right now I'm gonna do it just by the look of it but you can add as many onions as you want I'm gonna use two tablespoons probably and the rest you can save it because we made a lot you can save it for the week for your eggs your breakfast your sandwiches whatever you want and salt we almost forget the salt also we're gonna add our wine we're gonna mix it and we're gonna cook it like three more minutes so everything gets integrated and also you need to cook your wine so it doesn't taste very super alcoholic and as you see the sauce is getting very watery so if you cook it a little more then we get the same consistency we had before we're gonna cook it at medium for around two minutes but it's gonna be ready when you see the consistency change and we have the sauce that we had before so remember you need these two uh, another one wouldn't work that good because we need to mix it and also scrape the borders so nothing burns while it cooks you can also taste it and add more salt white pepper anything you want to make the flavor better for good at this point you can also add your bacon this is what we were looking for it's thick like before it was here around three to four minutes but you can mix it between medium heat and low heat but you need to be very careful it's gonna be ready when you find the right consistency now just to finish we add our pasta and we mix this is the final result I'm really happy with it I'm gonna drink it with the same wine we use for the pasta because that was also a tip chefs gave us at college that usually it's a good combination to drink the wine with the food you pair with it it usually pairs good that's like an easy tip if you want to start drinking more wine but yeah I'm really happy with the result so I hope you really like this recipe it was very nice I just tried it and it's very good so I hope you like this video you make this pasta at home and I'll see you another time